What's up, what's up, what's up? It's your girl Haitian doll. Dot Sophia back at again with another YouTube video. Sac by say, community, all that, all that. If you are new to my channel, definitely make sure you go ahead and subscribe so you can become part of the dollhouse today. Go ahead and turn on post notifications so you don't miss any of my saucy and fire content. Make sure you like, comment, share, and for my returning subscribers, I greatly appreciate you guys for coming back. So always showing up and showing out. And if you are new here, my channel consists of a variety of videos. So if y'all are wondering what type of videos I post on my channel, it's a variety of videos. I'm not just geared to one stream of content or a certain stream of content like beauty, fashion, lifestyle. I do a little bit of everything because I'm a very unique person. I like trying out new video ideas. And most of the time, I do create video ideas by myself and I go ahead and show you guys. So if that's what you're interested in, definitely make sure you go ahead and subscribe. Also, if you're new here little bit of fun facts about me i should do this more often but yes i am haitian but i am not from haiti i am from orlando florida if florida to be short and i am a college student i'm 19 years old and a little bit of fun facts so before we get into today's video i always give you guys the shout out of the day and the outfit of the day if you are new here you may not know that but the shout out of the day is basically shouting out one of my supporters slash subscribers but mostly one of my supporters and then the outfit of the day is just showcasing what is the outfit of the day for the video so if i'm vlogging and i change my outfit throughout the video of course i will show you guys that transition of me changing my outfit but that's basically what i do before i start any like the big portion of the video, like the big title of the video, I always do the outfit of the day and the shout out of the day. I always do the shout out of the day for it. Most of the time, if I forget, but that's rare that I do the outfit of the day first, but I always do the shout out of the day first. So the first thing we're going to do is the shout out of the day. The shout out of the day is going to Kira Dior. Her channel consists of beauty, fashion, and hair content. Her most recent video is the Sensational Butter Lace Human Hair Blend Bohemian 28, 28 inches install and review. So you guys can go ahead and check that video out. It's a that wig was bomb for a human hair blend wig, and you know these synthetic wigs they are coming out like they're coming out bomb. I personally don't own a synthetic wig, and I never had one, but I did buy synthetic bundles one time, and I tried to dye it. It didn't go out pretty well, but pretty much if you get synthetic bundles or human hair bundles, you really could finesse it. So if you guys are into stuff like that hair content definitely go ahead check out her channel i also have hair content on my channel as well i have a whole playlist called let's do my hair that you go out, guys can go and check out i will also leave that in the icard and the review for this hair will be in the icard i won't have it on for much longer now because i did have it for over a month but as you guys know i take care of my wigs just like i take out my natural hair so it still looks good but I will be getting braids soon, so you guys stay tuned for that. I'm getting some burgundy braids with some curls, so that's going to be a nice little cute style that I'm going to have for like two months. So, y'all stay tuned for that because when my hair changes, it changes, and I know you guys be hyped on any style that I do because I love color, and I just love protective styles, but I do love my natural hair as well. But, as you guys know, it can be annoying taking care of your natural hair at times, but I do take care of my natural hair. And then let's get into this outfit of the day make sure you guys check out her channel her instagram will be linked down below or her youtube channel and, and all the time when i do a shout out in the icard they always have their channel name what their most recent video and their channel name is on the screen along with their instagram page so let's get into this outfit of the day you guys know when i'm home filming really chill outfit vibes but um i have on this black and it has a little bit of red and white here. This is a Nike top. I got this from my Burl from Burlington. If you haven't seen my Burlington back to school haul, I believe that was the title of it. I'll leave it in the iCar so you guys can see. And then I have on these leggings. These are from Forever 21. And then I have on my Rainbow Crocs. So I'm not going to lift them up today because I'm not trying to do the most. But I just basically have on my Rainbow Crocs. Not the... um. Not the primary color ones, the ones that are pink and they have blue, green, yellow. So I might put a picture on the screen for the people that I knew here who probably want to purchase those Crocs. But yeah, pretty chill outfit because I'm filming. But let's get into what we're going to be doing today. So I'm going to be talking about this Amazon Affordable Blow Dryer. So it's going to be titled Amazon Affordable Blow Dryer Review. So I know it's affordable to me, might not be as affordable to you guys because they do have cheaper blow dryers out there but at the same time some of the cheaper blow dryers don't last as long as the ones that's more expensive the most i probably would send on a blow dryer is probably 
I want to say a hundred, but then I'm like, it has to be like top tier for me to spend a hundred dollars. I know they have the Rev Air hair dryer that's four hundred dollars. I really want to buy. I'm like four hundred dollars is like something that if I ever spend on it, I won't be spending for a long time because I just feel like that's a big purchase. But um, the Rev Air dryer, I really want that. If you don't know what that is, basically the dryer that you put it in your hair is like. It's like a little cup and you put it up to your hair and basically you don't have to comb it or nothing and it just stretches your hair. But I'm like, I mean, what would I really be using it for like that? Because I feel like after I do that, I would still want to go in with a dryer with a comb to kind of stretch it. So I'm like, that's like a $400 well spent, but it really is it is. But really is it, I mean. But um, I'm going to be reviewing this blow dryer. I still have the box. I've been purchased it, but... I kept the box for you guys so I can show you guys how it looks with the original packaging. But um, I'm going to tell you guys about pricing, pros and cons. And I know a lot of people are going to be like happy for the price or not happy for the price. Because everybody's not trying to spend this amount of money on a blow dryer. But it all depends how much you want to spend on a blow dryer and how much like how long you're trying to keep it. Because just because a dryer is cheap doesn't mean it's not good or just because it's expensive doesn't mean it's not good it all depends on the company the brand what you got it from all that good stuff so i'm gonna go ahead and pull up the pricing for you guys actually let me grab my phone because i was gonna do it on my tablet but my my tablet just acting up so bump that i'm gonna put it up from my phone so let me go to my order so i could go ahead and find that for you guys but i'm pretty sure it was $42.99 or $43.99 so basically $44 almost $45 almost $50 for this blow dryer but I feel like it's very much worth it because I feel like it's gonna last a long time and I feel like with these cheap cheap blow dryers like I had another blow dryer that I got from Walmart it was a Conair blow dryer it didn't last that long I think I paid like $20 for it it was good for the time being but I literally dropped it probably like two times on mistake and it was cracking so i when it started cracking i used it a little bit more time but i was like i'm really scared to use it because what if it ends up being a fire hazard so that's why i was like i'm not really trying to keep a blow dryer that have a crack in it so that's why i went ahead and purchased this one on amazon and i wasn't trying to purchase another another one on walmart because i was but in the end i didn't do it because i'm like i probably could find something on amazon for way cheaper and i really wanted the blow dryer to come fast because at the time I was pressed to do my hair. I needed my hair done, so I needed blow dry. So, I just pull up the information. The brand is J I N R I, so Jinri, and it has a long name. You know how these um these eBay and Amazon listings be, but I'm gonna read the whole thing for you guys. It's called the Professional Salon Infrared Hair Dryer, powerful, powerful 1875 watt negative ion blow dryer for fast drying, pro ion quiet hair dryer with diffuser and concentrator and comb black so it comes with two attachments no three attachments it comes with the diffuser the heat concentrator and the comb what i don't like i'm gonna get into the pros and cons literally right now because i don't want this video to be too long this is a real quick review but pros and cons pros it's easy to use and it comes with the attachments what i don't like is the, the it has a small comb it basically has small attachments and it's kind of loud um, I mean, but that's for a blow dryer, I, but I feel like it's really, really, really loud. But compared to other <coughs> blow dryers, like I feel like that when you go to like the Dominican salon and actual salons, their blow dryers are really, really loud than this one. But this thing is still pretty loud, but I really don't have a lot of pros and cons for it. As I said, it was $44. So, um, actually on Amazon, it says save it extra, oh no. It says save it extra 5% 5 off when you apply for this coupon. I don't know what the coupon actually details. But I don't 5% not going to really do nothing. But I mean a discount is a discount at the same time. So um, the only thing I don't like about it is the attachment comb. Because I have thick hair and the attachment comb is not that big. I'm going to actually show you guys how it physically looks. Since I have the blow dryer sitting with me here right now like the attachment comb is so small and i was like i was gonna get a universal attachment comb because i mean i could put it on here but since this blow dryer the mouth of the blow dryer is pretty small it's not a lot of um universal attachment combs that you could really find that fitted and i'm not trying to be pulling up to everywhere i go with the blow dryer with me like 
I'm not trying to do that. And I'm not trying to buy attachments and have to return them. Because y'all got to understand, I don't have a car. Especially if I did have a car. Imagine going to the store back and back every day. Because you got to keep buying stuff for a blue dryer. But, um... This is the attachment comb. I mean, it's not small, small, but it's not that big. And being that I have thick hair, it's going to take me a long time to blow my hair out. And when I want to get protective style, the last thing I want to do is spend hours upon hours blowing out my hair. But it gets the job done. But I do wish it was bigger because when I had my Conair one, it is way bigger than this. And I tried to put it on there and it did, did not want to stay. So if I could find another universal one that's pretty small and will fit on the mouth of it i'll definitely do i was thinking just to tape it but that could be a fire hazard it also came with this manual actually this is the conair one i was like because this is not it let me show you guys what i'm talking about so this is the conair one i thought this was it that's why i'm like this thing was not that big this is actually the conair one it does not stay on here Maybe it feels a little bit smaller, but the mouth of this is too wide. Let me show you the actual one. Like, it gets the job done, but just know, because my hair thick, I'll be here for a while. So, look how small this thing is. Like, for me to get one, I would get, have to get one that's the same um, width of this or closer so it can actually latch on. And I'm like, bro, they don't even be making... Um, comb attachment is this small that's why i'm like i don't know where i'm gonna find a comb attachment this small probably gonna have to search the web probably gonna have to go on amazon and put in a small comb attachment for a blow dryer because this not cutting it like I, it could have a small like attachment here but i just need the teeth to be a little bit wider and longer so i could be able to not have to take so long when i blow dry my hair because because when it's this small you have to do a little bit smaller sections but it gets the job done it does go in there like you could get in your roots pretty good but i well my hair i do need to work on section and smaller regardless because since my hair is thick i just be like bruh the, the the wash day process be so long especially when you have to get your hair done like the next day or the day after the next two days after that you don't want to be blow drying your hair all day so when it comes to my hair it's not that i'm lazy but my hands start hurting and when you start sweating it's like what's the point of blowing out my hair if i'm sweating so much while I'm blowing dry, while I'm blow drying my hair, so that's why I want a bigger attachment because I just feel like it'll make things easier. But nevertheless, I do recommend this. Actually, when you turn this on, it has like a. Let me take this off. Okay, so like here, it it has like a red infrared light. That's why when I was reading in the description, it said infrared. So right here is gonna be like a red LED light that turns on when you are blow drying your hair as far as the heat settings it has low medium high and then low off high and low medium high i think that's for the speed and then low and high is for the heat and then it has a cool setting i never use the cool setting because i'm like bruh what's the point of using the cool setting you probably could use the cool setting for when you're diffusing your hair or the low setting i know a lot of people use that for when they're diffusing your hair but as you go, guys know i don't really wear my hair curly like that but that is a goal i want to do but you guys know my shrinkage is bad so i don't wear my hair curly but um yeah i pretty much recommend this blow dryer as far as cleaning it you just take off this attachment in the back and this traps all the lint dirt whatever the case may be shed hair it, it um traps it back here so you just go take this off it's barely nothing in here so you just take this off and then the hair and everything else will be here this is the back of the blow dryer as you can see there's the fan back there so i recommend you guys to buy this blow dryer and i love it because it's just like a sleek bat sleek black sleek black matte packaging and right here it also has the infrared light when you turn it on i'm not going to show you guys because this blow dry is very loud but if you want you can watch the video that they have on amazon and everything so you guys can see what i'm talking about and on the box it also says dries hair dries hair up to 50 percent faster i mean it does but since my hair is thick it's like i mean it's not really giving the whole 50%, but that's just because my hair is thick and my hair is medium to long length. So it, people with shorter hair, probably who people who just recently cut their hair, growing out their TWA, probably be way easier for them. But I'm on the lookout for a wider tooth comb with longer, with longer um, teeth on it because this, it gets the job done, but sectioning that bad boy down, 
especially with thick hair it gets annoying then it also came with this manual this have like safety tips in it yeah it's the instruction book so if you want to know how to use it it's pretty self-explanatory but if you want to know how to use it if you want to know how to clean it it has everything in here and then it also comes with a warranty as well so you could just to get the warranty and if anything happened to it you just contact them here i don't know if you guys can see that because my camera is not focusing because i have a bright ring light but it's focusing now it has the warranty here and i feel like this is a great purchase i mean you can't go wrong with this as far as you're gonna have a blow dryer for a long time especially if you have natural hair and you do protective styles frequently you definitely want to purchase a blow dryer that's gonna last you like five to ten years and you probably want to have a backup blow dryer as well but i currently have one blow dryer i'm thinking about purchasing purchasing another one just in case that one gives out because you never want to just have one blow dryer and then you just screwed but yeah i gave you guys the pros and cons you guys definitely want to go check this out my list the listing for this will be down below every time i review something i always leave the review the review i always leave the listing down below so you guys can go ahead and purchase it or if you're interested in checking it out whatever the case maybe just know it's linked down below for you guys so this is the diffuser the diffuser is the diffuser is pretty big but i don't use diffusers even on my wigs i don't use diffusers because i'm like my wigs pretty much dry and i feel like i don't be wearing like long 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 curly wigs like my wigs are pretty much medium length but if i get a long curly wig i feel like diffusers work best for long curly wigs they do work with short medium length long curly hair but i don't really use no diffusers because you guys know i don't wear my hair curly but i want to try this with a long curly wig um the what do you, what would you call these like the little um spikes they feel pretty sturdy and strong but the diffuser is pretty big compared to the heat concentrator i'll actually use the heat concentrator for this wig because the heat concentrator really helps with concentrating the heat and giving that blowout look so let's say you just um deep conditioned and wash the wig this is perfect for that or you could just do it with a regular blow dryer with nothing on it with no attachment but this is pretty good for concentrating the heat in one area especially if you don't want your wig to be all fried and messed up because you're constantly putting heat on it i don't put a lot of heat on my wigs like sometimes you will see i let it be with its natural texture or i will go in and just blow dry it and not flat iron it because i don't like putting a lot of heat on my straight wigs because just like your natural hair just because it's straight hair, that don't mean you could just keep straightening, straightening, straightening. Because if you had natural straight hair, you wouldn't do that. Because you could still get heat damage, even though it's not growing on my head. You could still give weave heat damage and make it have split ends and all that stuff. Because remember, this is human hair, so it's still going to react the same, even though it's not connected to someone's scalp. Um, and I already showed you guys the attachment comb, so this is the biggest out of everything for the attachment so the only thing is the mouth isn't wide and that's because the mouth on the blow dryer isn't wide so that's why it's going to be kind of hard to find an attachment because if the mouth on the blow dryer was big the whole thing would be big like as far as this but the mouth on the blow dryer is small is literally the size of this so it's going to be hard to find a comb attachment that'll fit but i'm going to try to do some more research because i really want a comb attachment with a longer with longer teeth and that's actually wider so then i could be able to like ease down my blow drying process especially after doing like uh what after a shampooing um shampooing conditioning deep conditioning my hair basically doing a what um three step wash process and then have to blow dry my hair i really don't want to be there all day so i'm gonna be searching for uh um blow dry comb and when i find one i'll probably will review it after i um used it for a little bit and tried it on my natural hair also on my wig so i'll let you guys know about that because you guys know i come through with all the reviews and the affordable things so with that being said that's that and that pretty much concludes this review i hope you guys enjoyed it make sure you go ahead and check out Kira Dior's channel i forgot to say in the beginning follow me on instagram at haitian doll dot sophia also make sure you subscribe if you are new here and turn on the post notification especially if you're a returning subscriber turn on these post notifications so you don't miss any of my saucy and fire content 
Also, make sure you like, comment, and share. Love when you guys comment because I can interact with you in the comment section. I appreciate the shares because shares are hard to come by. Whether you're a big, small, medium-sized YouTuber. Also, liking really helps with the YouTube algorithm. All of those things, like, comment, and sharing helps with the YouTube algorithm. And that's pretty much it. So, without further ado, that is the end of today's video. We love and we care. Be blessed and don't be stressed. Now, we're on Sophia out.